Hello everyone. In this lecture, I am going to solve first three problems of RMO 2011. And here is a view of the first problem. Uh, in this problem, we are given that ABC be a triangle and let D, E, F be the points respectively on the segments BC, CA and AB such that AD, B and CF are concurrent at the point K. And also we are given BD upon DC equals to BF upon FA and angle ADB equal to angle AFC. And we have to show that angle ABE, angle ABE equal to angle CAD. Okay, fine. Now I am going to draw the diagram. Uh, ABC with triangle DA with the point respectively on the segment this. Okay. Uh, this is a triangle ABC. DA be the points on segment BC, CA, AB such that AD, B and CF are concurrent. Okay. This is the segment AD. This is BE. And this is CF. This is D, E and F. And K be the point of concurrency of these three line segments okay and we are given that BD BD upon DC equal to BF upon FA and angle ADB angle ADB equal to angle AFC it means they are talking about this angle and if this angle is theta then angle AFC is also theta and to show that angle ABE ABE equal to angle CAD it will give to show this angle equal to C A D. This angle is equal to this angle. Okay, fine. Now uh, look at this quadrilateral B D K F. B D K F. Uh, if this angle is theta, then definitely its interior angle. This becomes what pi minus theta. Uh, so in quadrilateral. Uh, B D K F uh, the uh, sum of opposite angles is 180 angle B D K plus angle B F K is 180 implies quadrilateral B D K F is a cyclic quadrilateral you can directly write uh, this as cyclic quadrilateral because uh, this exterior angle is equal to its opposite interior angle. You can directly write this one. Okay. Now, now what we have also given, we have given BD by DC also uh, BD over DC equal to BF over FA. It means BD upon DC equal to BF upon FA so that we can say that uh, this line segment uh, this line segment FD this will implies FD is parallel to the segment AC okay now if this is a cyclic quadrilateral if this is a cyclic quadrilateral then uh, clearly <coughs> Then clearly uh, this angle, angle FBK, angle FBK equal to angle FDK because uh, both angles are made by the arc FK. Okay, this is the first equation. And if these two line segments are parallel, uh, then we can write. Uh, angle FDK angle FDK equal to angle CAD by alternate angles these two angles are alternate angles and we call this result as 2 
from 1 and 2 angle FDK sorry from 1 and 2 we can write angle FBK we can write angle FBK equal to angle CAD but you can write angle FBK as angle ADE angle ADE equal to angle CAD hence proved so it is very um, very basic and very elementary geometry problem and just like a school book problem now I am going to move second problem in second problem we have given uh, A1, A2, A2 and 2011 via permutation of numbers 1, 2, 3 up to 2011 and we have to show that there exist two numbers J and K such that 1 less or equals to J less and K less or equals to 2011 such that uh, these two absolute values are same okay so a1 a2 a 2011 is what a1 a2 a 2011 is actually the permutation of 1 2 3 up to 2011 okay that is uh, that is uh, 1 2 3 2011 is written over here in some order and we have to show that uh, there exist at least uh, there exist two numbers j and k such that these two absolute values are same so this is a nice problem uh, the first observation is uh, if uh, this is a permutation of uh, 1 2 3 up to 2011 uh, since um, I can write in this one since a1 a2 up to a 2011 is a permutation permutation means written in some particular form written in some particular order a1 a2 a2011 is a permutation of numbers 1 2 3 up to 2011 therefore we can write sigma of aj minus j sigma of aj minus j where j varying from 1 to 2011 this sum is clearly zero okay and we write this as uh, equation 1 and if this sum is 0 uh, what happens if we apply mod to each term if we apply mod to each term of this sum that is we are going to find mod of aj minus j where j varying from 1 to 2011 then this sum definitely becomes an even number the reason behind this is what uh, because initially without mod this is an even number and if we apply mod then each negative term double uh, change by double its magnitude suppose uh, suppose uh, mod of uh, suppose a3 minus 3 is minus 5 then what happens to it when we apply mod to this number then mod of a3 minus 3 becomes plus 5 so you can check the variation here each number change by double of its magnitude this is change by 10 suppose a5 minus 5 is minus 7 what happens when we apply mod to this term mod of a5 minus 5 is plus 7 so this quantity is changed by 14 okay i hope you understand uh, so when you apply mod to each term then each negative quantity change by double of its magnitude so the sum remaining the even number if initially it is even then after applying mod this also becomes even number we call this as result number 2 and uh, we have to show that these two absolute values are same and I am going to prove this result with the help of contradiction method suppose if possible if possible suppose mod of aj minus j not equals to mod of ak minus k for all j and k lying between 1 to 2011 
suppose no two absolute values are same then then what is the minimum value of mod of aj minus j minimum value is clearly zero and which occurs when a2 takes value 2 or a5 takes value 5 then clearly this minimum value occurs uh, okay i am writing the minimum value this minimum is zero and uh, what is the maximum value of this absolute term its maximum value is clearly 2010 and uh, this occurs at uh, when a1 take value and when you, uh, we take a1 value as 2011 when a1 is 2011 then clearly this maximum value occurs therefore what we can observe its minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 2010 and under this assumption no two absolute values are same then we can say that mod of aj minus j j varying from 1 to 2011 can take values 0 1 2 up to 2010 therefore sigma of mod of aj minus j j varying from 1 to 2011 this becomes what 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to 2010 and this sum is what 2010 into 2011 upon 2 that comes out to be 1005 into 2011 which is clearly an odd number so it contradicts uh, the result 2 which quantities 2 hence our ini initial hypothesis that is this not equals to this for all values of j and k was wrong this hypothesis was wrong it means that there exist j and k such that mod of aj minus j equals to mod of ak minus k holds true hence we are done um, move to the next problem A natural number n is chosen strictly between two consecutive perfect square. The smaller of these two squares is obtained by subtracting k from n and the larger one is obtained by adding l to n and we have to show that n minus kl is a perfect square. Okay, n is chosen between two consecutive perfect square. Assume n lies between two consecutive perfect square so we can write n is greater than m square but less than m plus 1 square the smaller of these two square is obtained by subtracting k from n also we are given a uh, smaller of these two square subtracting uh, k from n n minus k equal to m square and the larger one is obtained by adding l to n m plus 1 whole square is what adding l to n n plus l okay there are three information this is first this is second and this is third and uh, we have to show that n minus kl is a perfect square okay n minus kl is a perfect square now n minus kl is what n minus uh, what is the value of k from here that is n minus m square and what is the value of l from here l from here m plus 1 is square m plus 1 is square minus n okay that is n minus n times 
एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर माइनस एम इंटू एम प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस एन एम स्क्वायर ओके दिस कैन बी रिटेन एस एन माइनस एन टाइम्स एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर प्लस एम स्क्वायर इंटू एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर माइनस एन एम स्क्वायर ओके देर इज ओनली वन टर्म ऑफ एन स्क्वायर सो आई वॉन्ट राइट ओवर हियर एंड वी हैव टू कलेक्ट द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एन एक्चुअली देर आर थ्री थ्री टर्म्स ऑफ एन सो इफ यू टेक एन कॉमन देन वॉट आर द कॉफिशियंट वन माइनस एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर माइनस एम स्क्वायर एंड वॉट आर द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म एम स्क्वायर एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर एन स्क्वायर प्लस एन वन माइनस टू एम स्क्वायर माइनस टू एम माइनस वन एम स्क्वायर एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर वन एंड वन कैंसिल आउट एंड वी कैन टेक कॉमन माइनस टू एम एन स्क्वायर माइनस टू एम एन टू एम एन एम प्लस वन प्लस एम इंटू एम प्लस वन होल स्क्वायर नाउ लुक एट द लास्ट एक्सप्रेशन दिस बिकम वॉट एन स्क्वायर प्लस एम इंटू एम प्लस वन स्क्वायर माइनस टू टाइम्स माइनस टू एन इंटू एम इंटू एम प्लस वन सो दिस एक्सप्रेशन क्लियरली बिकम्स द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर ऑफ एन माइनस एम टाइम्स एम प्लस वन हेंस वी आर डन Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.